World Cup has been a win for, for us. I mean, the infrastructure uh, that we've got as far as transport is concerned, we'll never have dreamt of uh, over the past 40, in the next 40 years. But all of it has come in at the same time, uh, the N1, the N2, the N3, and uh, you, you see the construction all over. You move from Tswana to the airport now, it's all construction. You go anywhere, it's just construction. So that uh, 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 the World Cup is going to leave a very important legacy as far as transport infrastructure is concerned. That includes the how train, that includes uh, uh, the, the road infrastructure the, 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 that is still being built even now, so that uh, the World Cup has been very good for transport. After all, uh, the World Cup is not just about sport, it's about transport. Not, uh, not with the leadership that we have in the taxi industry, not with the engagement that we have in the taxi industry. That engagement starts right from President Jacob Zuma uh, to the Minister of Transport. And uh, we've had uh, various meetings. The biggest was uh, at Kalaka Estate on the Estates on the 11th of June after the President had announced. And uh, from then, we now have got the joint working group joint working group of uh, 40 uh, government, government is national, provincial and local, uh, as well as the taxi industry, who have themselves divided themselves into separate working groups on empowerment, on operational matters, on licensing, on regulations, on legislation, so that we say whatever problem you have, take it there, it should be addressed. You've got a, a listening government, you've got a taxi industry that is being engaged so that uh, whatever problems happen. Uh, I, I was, I was uh, for instance, upset last week, uh, and I, I raised it with the taxi industry, that if we are talking and there are problems, why do we have uh, a, a certainly a, an absence of taxis in Kukulit? Why should we have that? Because whatever we are discussing about should not affect that school girl who is going to school that mama who is going to work and so forth. We should be able to, lo to lock ourselves in a room. We are listening and they know it, and the taxi industry know it, and uh, they listen as well. So that we shouldn't have other forces outside that going and uh, disrupting communities. We are saying from now on, government and the taxi industry, our boss is one, and the boss is the people of South Africa. It's the biggest legacy for the World Cup is in transport because uh, from now on, transport will never be the same after 2010. Uh, you will have a, a new city-to-city -city bus service uh, that we have already uh, placed on order more than uh, almost 450. Uh, it's more than 500, in fact, that we are going to have uh, buses that uh, we are going to have. Afterwards, those buses will be used city-to-city -city transport as we used to, to have that old Pullman, uh, depending on your age, you'll remember that. And uh, so that you'll have this city to city, so that people should travel. Uh, transport therefore becomes a, lucky, a legacy that wherever you are, you can travel anywhere in South Africa. And uh, so that uh, transport is going to be sustainable. Of course, the roads that are being built are going to be used uh, long after World Cup is gone. The rail that is being uh, upgraded is going to be used long after uh, 2010 is gone. And uh, hopefully, we also hope that uh, our people are going to be attracted more and more to public transport. And uh, so that uh, we use less and less of private transport that really clogs our roads. One of the, of the ways of this BRT, as, 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 lo, as soon as you see, uh, as you are on your, on your car, in your car, and you are in this congested uh, road moving meter by meter, meter by meter, and you see four buses passing you. you, you do it the following day and the third day, and then you realize that it will be better to leave your car at home 
and use the, 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 the bus rapid transit. It is by making ourselves attractive, not through persuasion or coercion, but making it a sensible thing to do. Uh, like you do in London, uh, it becomes less sensible to use your own car, except if you are going out in the countryside on a picnic. But otherwise, you use your public, public transport because it's there. So our public transport must be there, and it must move. This PRT will move, whether it's got five people, every five minutes it moves. It's not like in the taxi where you wait until uh, all 15 passengers, it's full. This one, it moves with three people, with five people, with uh, 55 people, it moves. So that uh, it makes itself efficient. By being efficient, it makes itself attractive.